jacking up an MCI 9, the ground is real soft. You can see there's already ramps under it, but they've sunk all the way down in flush with the ground level. Here's some wood cracking. Does the jack got a lot to go up still? Can't see it. <laughs> so we got the other side already up. Pulling an automatic transmission out of this bus, this is an MCI-9, and in order to do that, the transmission is the motor mounts. So the motor mounts go through the side of the transmission right there. We've removed them already. Those have those co same cones as like an axle cone has. And then we have the engine supported in the middle, but we need to move it back to get that transmission out. We need to bring the slide the whole engine cradle back about almost a foot, 10 inches. And we got to slide it back, not having a motor mount on it. While well, we take the bumper off here and slide the engine back the 10 inches that we need in order to get the trans out. So this is going to be some crazy shit. And we have a tow truck coming today at one o'clock to get this bus out of here. So we have not a full day. <laughs> uh, wish us luck. We're getting there, getting everything is attached, removed. We got the outside bumper off, and then we just got a few bolts here that come off for this plate to come off, and then the engine will be able to slide back. Well, the engine is ready to slide out. The rails are all disconnected. Everything's out of the way. We left some of the stuff still hooked up. As long as it stretches about 10 inches, we're going to be okay. Um, it's going to be close on a few things, but we'll see. Well, in theory, since there's no motor mounts on the back side, we have the transmission supported on that jack which is only 1500 pound rated i think <laughs> we'll see if it slides here or not we have it hooked to the car which seems to be moving <laughs> it's moving the car wait did it move it's moving we should get under there and check and see what's going on before you go any further is it off that cross member? Look from the side. Almost. We have a safety. Is it? Is it? It's above the cross member though, right? Oh yeah. Because we have it jacked up back there. Yeah. We have a safety chain on there in case it does slip off. But holy shit. Okay. Keep going. Getting it back in is gonna be a whole other story come along to that tow truck driver yeah no we'll come put a come along on the um tag axle something get tight or we just yeah something got tight all right let's check our connections maybe we got something not disconnected well, I think we might actually be starting to disconnect. was the transmission jack rolling at the same time uh, I can't tell. Well, it has to be no it doesn't look like it so is it sliding off of it no I mean, we've, we've now gone forward another quarter inch. Or half inch. I don't see anything tight over here. This is tight right here. What? That hose, bar. This? Oh, no, it's not. That's, no, it's that's not touching. This. Fuel lines, something like that maybe. I was hoping there was enough slack in them. So just gently pry bar under that rail, that front edge right there. Yep. Put your. There's no, there's no tension there. Like the surface tension would have let it slide, I think. All right, let's take a look. This is really sketchy with no motor mounts on the engine, just saying. Sketchy is probably good. <laughs> okay, I see something that's tight.
It hasn't done anything, right? It has not. I think it's pulling your car. Wow. Like sideways. <laughs> Yep, the car is coming closer. Can we tie, hook your car to a tree? <laughs> so we're pulling his, when I say car, it's a Ford Expedition. It's actually pulling it sideways right now. Oh, do it again. Jack is moving. She just moved a lot. Yeah, that's good. Whatever the tension was. It? I don't want to go out further than like one inch past that, the end of the rail there. Getting hard again? It's not ratcheting. <laughs> oh, well, what is it? Two two ton rated? So <laughs> it's pulling. It's pulling. Two. Yeah, we're actually about two and a half tons right now with that engine and the transmission together. It's working. Okay. Um, question. If there was a U-bolt back there, no matter how far this is sticking out past, it can't come up. But it can't slide because they've got that. No, no, once we... Oh, yeah. If we were supporting, just long enough to get a U-bolt on, this can be out as far as we want it, or as far as we need, right? Because it can't tip. Yeah, but I don't think we need more than that. I, I think we just get it to, let's see what we get. Let's get it out to like one inch over the edge here. And then let's see what, if we need more for the transmission or not. Okay, we got three out. <laughs> Watch your fingers, you okay? Mm -hmm. What catch is there? This, when it goes down all the way, see it pushes that spring? Yeah. I think it's just, this cable has got to, see it's pushing it, oh. It's, it's twerked it. We need, we need to get a better bite. I don't know if I can get a better bite. If I put something in here and wedge it down? Mm hmm yeah, see how it's twisted that way? Yep. Yeah, that's what it means. Kelly, we go to the other pry bar, that red pry bar. It's not over here, is it? This machine is starting to separate. Slow poke over there. He's got a couple more bolts to take out. That side's harder. So. <laughs> All right. Is the engine sitting on the crate or that support beam we added? Yes. Okay, is the jack, can jack come down a little bit more? No. No? It's got a safety catch on it. Oh, you gotta jack it back up to relief? Because when I go up. That should be good. You should be able to relieve that safety catch now. Oh, yeah. It should snap into place. Go back up right here. One more little pump. That's it right there. Hold it there. Climb out from under there. I'm making sure the jack's got enough tranny under it. it the transmission is straight right now. Oh, no, like the jack's off to the side just a smidge. Okay. It's well, do good part of the well. Way. Now's the time to reposition. If you need to reposition it, now's the time to do it. Yeah. That was you me. Move your way just a smidge. Okay. Oh, careful! Did you see that? I did. Pump, 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 pump. It's up too high. Huh? It's up too high. 
That relieved the tension off of everything when you did that, and the whole cradle slid back. <laughs> okay, now up or how much? That's perfect. Right where it is. Then the, the cradle is sitting on the engine cradle is sitting our engine is sitting on that support. Yeah. How much? Half inch? Inch? Quarter. Quarter inch? Yeah. Oh shit, that's because it slid backwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually the tranny and it is sitting on it. Okay. Let me get a video of this so people understand what you just went through down here. <laughs> well, I watched the film. I'm going to run and grab the toilet paper. <laughs> you use that still? <laughs> oh, man. It's just like... So we added that little support there to hold the engine. And then when we relieve the tension, the... oh, relieve the tension on the come along and that won't happen again. Or back your truck up, whatever's easier. You're still moving your truck. You just back your truck the, up. The truck just went six inches the other way. There. There oh, okay. Back the truck up, truck. <laughs> the, truck, the truck is still leaning. Learn there how to use go. a come along. <laughs> okay, there's no tension. We're good. On chocks behind it. <laughs> yeah, we had to put blocks under it. truck going into the back of that bus. <laughs> Get a gap at the bottom. It looks all the way around. Nope, it's not. Really? That's correct. We tight on somewhere on that side. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. He doesn't chuckle when he's down there, and it happens. No, he doesn't. He chuckles oh, up here yes. like a mother. Well, to remove the bolts that go through the flex plate there on the front converter, there's a plug there to go through. A quarter inch. What do they look like? You went out. There we go. There's a whole bunch of them in there. So we're gonna keep turning it and taking them out. Oh, come by. Oh, yeah. Here, ready? Go ahead. Come on. Stop. What's wrong, Scott? Uh, well, once you take the bolts out, it moves really easily. <laughs> take the 12 freaking bolts out, it just rolls. <laughs> okay, well, let's... the engine's moving backwards. Oh, the engine's backwards. <laughs> Is there no input shafts flying? I don't think so. Oh, that's my side. No, one. there's no, I don't need, oh, wait, we can look up in there. We can use the paddle jacks. Kelly? Yes. You come around. Okay. Gap looks the same. Oh, yeah, you're free, completely. So I can do the come along, but we need to watch the jack, the drive shaft back there. Yeah. Hold on. And as soon as you can clear right there. Oh, you stupid piece of shit. no longer gonna clear it. I mean, that's it. Okay. You're gonna pass right below it. Right now. We gonna come along the engine a little bit? Yep, we need to come along the engine. Okay. okay. we're about to break this cable right here. Yeah, we're pulling the transmission now. I think the teeth are caught. I think the transmission just gotta come up a little bit. Can you pump that jack up just a little? Uh, yeah. Ready? 
Yep. Whoa, stop. Okay. It just slid in the housing. I saw that. Um, let me get a pry bar. It's not one there. What's the big pry bar? All right. The engine's sitting on the, on the cross member. Can we do the other side? Yeah, come on the other side. Jack, I'm, I'm not. I'm going way back here. Yeah, I'm gonna get a pry bar. We could come back a little if you need to. Oh, I think it's ready to come down. Sure. I do. You don't need to come back anymore. Flywheel will miss. The bottom is out. The top. I think it'll rub against the face of it. Oh, that's right. I see that. Kelly. Yes. Can you see between the two wheels? No. Yeah. If you would put your eye on the drive shaft, you can even video it coming down. I just, if it hangs, then it's going to tip forward. It's the only problem. I think you're right, Scott. That way it'll clear the front. Yep, just let it down yeah. real slow. On your mark. Recording? Yep. Okay. Let it down slow. You got it. Yep. Stop. Stop it. Now we got to bring it back forward because we're sure the ass is going to do that. I'm going to help you. <laughs> okay. I take it. Okay. Engine is on the cross piece. It's not going anywhere. Plus, these are here. Yeah. So we're good here. You're safe. Yeah. One, two, seven. Oh. Huh. We yeah. might actually get it in the trailer, too. <laughs> Videoing? Yeah. Stop. We gotta come forward again. Okay, what is. We're caught on the your, this, drive shaft in the okay, back. Okay, up here, Scott. Oh, wait a minute. And the dipstick. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say, whatever this is sticking off, it's. Yeah, we got that. You just that. wedged it. Okay. Should I come up a little bit? Yeah, it's wedged now. There. Go down. Just tilted forward. Oh, okay, that's it. It's out on this side. Okay, this is where it gets fun. <laughs> I, mean, I guess I can keep my hand on it to try and keep it from coming forward. But you're just going to let it if it tries to. Well, I can bring uh, some safety chains are probably the best thing we got. Yeah. pushing pressure on that plate, we know that. Yeah. You want to jack maybe one stroke? No. Okay. Last one. Do you have a wedge up there for that? Is that actually holding it? <laughs> Let's let the chains grab it. This has to move anyway. Okay. So we'll just lower Step this down. down. 
Do you have the primer? Yep. Bolt one side at a time. Yep. Let me get just so I can fit through there. There's a screwdriver right there. Look at that. Um, we're gonna have to take it up. That's making that crowbar more in tension. I should not do it just put my hand under it. Stick to the outside. <laughs> Chain's getting tighter. How about your chain? Oh yeah. Just that back half of the engine, that thing ought to hold that chain. Check those hooks. No way they're going to give way. <laughs> you gotta go up. Or if we come forward, we'll probably miss the tag. Just, yeah, let's raise the body the rest of the way over there. Yeah, put the wood in there. Go up one more time. I think it'll come out. Okay. Or we roll it off of this jack. One or the other. Gonna go up a little bit higher. Four more inches and we got it. Does the jack go down at all? Yeah, it will actually. No, because it's hitting the safety. Go up. <laughs> you can't go up much here. Nope. Okay, try to go down. Touch fingers. Yep. <gasps> you were lucky there, Scott. I was washing my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> watching watching it, it take them off. Watching turn to blood. Oh, um, barely four inches though. Yep, yeah, four inches and we got it. And then we got the speedo cable over here. We gotta get it. Let's go. Guy. I need another four before. See how big that spider is? No, I can't watch it do that. Gotta get that on a faster speed dial. I never thought there'd be bolts inside there. Who would think that? That's incredible. Uh, you should see the spider that's under here, man. Just turn right now. There's no way this is safe. This come along okay now? Here, do you want more four by fours? That's you know, all doing good. And I'm all barely on. Okay. We're just going up. They know it. Yep. There's some one buys here that you can get in. Early by whatever first.
Surprise! No boats! Yes! Yes! You can see how far the bus landed over to the right. It used to be lined up with the left there. And you could tell by the panic uh, sound of my wife's voice that that was a little scary. But I was safe on the other side of the bus. I was back a couple of feet. Almost. You got it. Okay, come along. Back on. This isn't catching. What do I got to do? Hold up pressure on it. Clear it. Almost. Saws off. It's right there. The transmission tube again. Make sure you change your transmission fluid. <laughs> Thing on the side. Uh, you're hitting hit, over hit it here. with the pry bar. I'm hitting with the bolt here too. Oh. What is that on that side? That's that uh, the uh, cable for the. So you really don't like that thing. <laughs> 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 I think you do to get it on. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're probably the only assholes in the world that ever pulled the fucking transmission out without just removing the cradle. I thought it would have been easier, but I think we should have just built it. Yeah, Cliff will have fun with this one. <laughs> <laughs> I need another board here. Yep. Yep. Let's get another. Well, there's, there was one leaning right there. And then we can get rid of the chain. Get you that much more. Oh, yeah. Just using that. Hold on. So. Nope, it's going to come off over here. Oh, nice. Okay. Slow. Beautiful. Slow, stop. stop. Beautiful. We can turn it. Well. Yeah, I'm gonna unhook you. You come right here. Back up just a bit. You're clear. Went your rear. Went the center of you right here. <laughs> Slow. Stop. We only need a little bit more. Let's just yeah, just have just pull a little bit more. Sure. Yep. Gonna dig in here. Let's try it. That's gonna dig in it's there okay. and sink. Let's just try it. Forward. To you. Hey, cut your wheels hard, right? Yeah. Forward slow. Mm. Go ahead. We're clear. We're clear. Stop. We're good. We're out. No, when it, it's We're gonna, gonna hold. You need to go further forward. Yeah. Go ahead, forward. Come down right here. Yeah. Watch that hole over there. Go ahead. Keep going. Stop. You good now? Yeah, I think we're yeah, clear. I would the say that's good. Yeah. Good. Back up just a smidge. God go. damn, that was a lot of work good. right there. <laughs> that took almost as long as the rear end. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, you don't look very dirty. <laughs> no, man, I, I timed this one perfectly. He left, took a nap, <laughs> shower. All right. No, I we always seem to do things the hard way, don't we? Yeah. And get it done. Wait a minute. That's fucking amazing. That thing's up so high. But don't go crazy tightening that valve. Yeah. I would just do it finger tight, maybe. We get away with so much, you know. I hate to leave, but Sophia hasn't been out here in months. And she showed up today. It happens just toward the end of her shot for the month, and she starts calling twice a day, coming to see me and shit. You know, it, she was crying at lunch today. She was, you know, just holding me captive. She can't let her heart out and her feelings out. And I've got to be there for her when she's like that. You know, nobody else what understands what it's about. Right? She can talk yeah. to me about it, you know.
Can you pull that jack any more towards you? This way? Yeah. No. The jack itself on the wood? Is, is it on the other? Yeah, like that? Right there. Yeah, how's that feel to you? It's solid. Okay. I'm not from under there. Oh, I ain't got to tell me twice. <laughs> nope. I already been there once. <laughs> it's so just a shot. has no fucking idea what he's getting into. Still a long way to go. See that tire like that? Mm -hmm. Love it. There we go. Almost. Careful, it's shifting again. Oh! towards you again. Playing Jenga. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> It's not going up anymore. It's it's reached its thing. If you if you take Get one the of these boards, there, there you go. There it goes. Get it up. Oh yeah, gracefully. So now I took the other thing down, so we can set it on the on the red jack, and we don't have to worry about the red or the tires being our problem. Screw, screw the screw jack down. Taking the 04 off the ramps. If we move his uh, his trailer over there, we'll be able to line up against that fence on the other side, and uh, the, the wrecker will have okay. a lot of room. How would you like to take the pressure off the jack? We're gonna have to lower it down. I know. You took out too many boards over here, unless it's gonna sit on that other. It's gonna sit on that. Okay. How yeah. much did you break down all the way? No, nope. I left about a four by four's worth of jack. Yeah, you need so. about at least that in there. To cover any. Okay. So, where's the big pry bar? Yeah, I'm gonna come down way six inches. Long pry bar are red ones right here. <laughs> I like the red one. There's no red on that fucker at all. <laughs> you just hand tight that thing, right? Yes, sir. We should have a loose like this. Yeah, and then it's gonna hit the it's gonna hit the house jack. That's what's supposed to happen, right? Yeah. We didn't move it. Okay.
interesting. Well, that was close call number two. You can see how the bus was before here, and then this is how it landed afterwards. Uh, you know, we, we used all kinds of extra blocking and bottle jacks and jack stands and stuff under there, and just that soft Florida sand, it was just eating. We were putting big bases underneath of everything, and it was just eating everything up, and everything was sinking down into it, and it was just really hard. Uh, and then here comes the tow trucks getting ready to come to haul this away and take it to its new home. I think we need to air it up though to see he got Yeah, he's got he's One of those U bolts down so that cradle can't slide. Slide? There's no way it can slide. Yeah, it can. Do you see where the double chains are? No. They're stopping it from coming back. Yeah, they're up above where the oil pan was. So they're sitting right above, right on the, the main bearing. So the bell housing is catching. And there's two of them.
got it. I was always worried it was this corner here.